so hard to focus when my 65 year old roommate's playing my neck, my back, lick my. Oh my gosh, they turned it up. Once again, I posted on my Instagram, what do you guys want me to talk about? So I posted that little picture and I should have expected to experience more sexual harassment than I ever have in my entire life. I mean, I was really asking for it, I guess, inviting strangers into my DMs. Here are just a few of the brutal suggestions that I got. Secrets of your beauty and gorgeousness, that one's nice. Blow. Funny question, I'm from Red Deer. Are you down for a one night stand? <laughs> Let me make myself clear, Father Roger. I would rather bathe in feces every day than have a one night stand with someone from Red Deer. Show me your mm, bra size. Now let's talk about what actually matters, and that is the return of sports. Now, I'm not the type of person who's like the baseball nerd who's like, this prospect has this many RBI in the Mert League. But I am very excited that the Toronto Blue Jays got a freaking steal in Austin Martin, and these are the reasons why. One, he used to play with Beau Bichette, which means they kind of have that chemistry, you know, that camaraderie, and he will likely fit in really well with all these young kids. He was quoted saying, I hate losing more than I like winning, which is pretty much the most badass athlete quote ever. Just kidding, it's kind of a cliche. But you know he's here to work. Apparently the Jays have been eyeing him since he was in high school, which is actually a common DM that I get from old men. He's versatile. He can play second, third, or center field, and it's gonna be interesting to see what the Jays come up with. Like I said, I'm not the type of baseball nerd who's gonna focus on those nitty gritty stats because there's so many in baseball, and to be frank, no one really cares about a lot of those stats. However, I'm into stories. Like for example, what is former first base coach Tim Leeper doing these days? When it comes to the NBA, I am very excited for summer basketball. It's coming as early as July 30th. But let's face it, a primarily black league doesn't exactly wanna be focusing on playing the game right now. They have bigger fish to fry. For example, LeBron James started alongside other athletes, a voter suppression group meaning that a lot of places in the United States, it's harder for them to vote. For example, in Georgia, some people waited 12 hours to hit the polls. And when they were there, guess where it was? During a global pandemic at a nursing home. So why is it that in white communities, you can vote and go into a nice air conditioned space, cast your ballot and it's all fine and dandy. But in many black communities, you have to wait 12 hours, 12 hours to vote? Yes, I want basketball back, but I am way more interested in what LeBron James is talking about off the court. Have a good week and stay out of my DMs. Goodbye.